in Adello there are two main types of modifiers. There's a force modifier and there's a modifier builder template setup. The force modifier looks like this. So if I go into Buffalo Wings, you'll see here it jumped right into a forced modifier, which is either mild or spicy. So I have to make a selection. That's a forced modifier. The modifier template goes to a forced modifier to the template. So I have these templates. I have buns, toppings, sides, and drinks. This order is determined in the modifier template. So I select what type of bun I want, toppings that I want on the burger, what side I want, and a drink. And then I hit finish. And all these are showed up underneath. So how you create that is back office, under setup, menu setup, you have the modifier builder setup, then you have menu modifiers. The modifier builder setup, we're able to create multiple modifiers at once. So our burger template is called sandwiches. There's the bun, topping, sides, and drinks. So, if I wanted the drinks to show up first in that list, then I would rename this drinks by selecting this button here. Type in drinks. And then I could put buns here to reorder them. Then I have to move these items too. So once they're created, I can move them down to buns by hiding them. So I can hide them. And then I can put them down here. So select hidden entry. Select hidden entry. And I'm moving them all down to another level. So this is how I want to reorder them. And then I can hide these. And I can put my drinks up top. Then you make sure you save. Now let's say we want to create a new modifier template for our entrees. So we select new and then we type in a name for it. Uh, we'll just call this one entrees. Save. And then now we can uh, name our different <coughs> categories under entree. So we'll have the meat temperatures. sides and that's the two we'll have so if we click on temperatures all the squares come up so we select the blank one and we'll do rare mid rare medium mid well And well. So now we have that. We can put it in our sides, and we're just going to put a couple here baked potato, fries, coleslaw. So now we save it. Now, how do we get this entree modifier associated to the entrees? So we close, go back up here to setup, menu setup, menu items. Under menu items, let's select the entree section. We'll select the first one, barbecue ribs. On page two, there's use modifier builder template, drop down, select the entrees, save, done. So now that's going to show up there. But I want to delete this first. So now when we go to the menu, 
we can see how it's going to show up. We go into entrees, barbecue ribs, and it jumps right to our doneses. So we're going to, I know barbecue ribs have no doneness, but sides, baked potato, finish. So. And you can clear them, change price, finish. That's how you do a modifier builder template. Now, if you want to do a force modifier, and let's say that um, we have some modifiers in the system that we need to put in. So we go under menu modifiers, and then the first one that we're going to put in is called scallops or with scallops SC scallops and then we're going to create a new one with um, with rosemary and with uh, baked so we have these modifiers and this is an entire list of all our modifiers so if there's one that you want to have a price for or if you need to change the spelling on something you go to menu modifiers and then you can change the spelling once we're done now we want to associate those three modifiers to an item and we can go under force modifier or entrees and on the rotisserie chicken we go under force modifiers we're going to delete the ones that are in there and then now we are going to add the ones that we just created. All you have to do is start typing it and it will show up. So we select these three, hit done. Now you can, you got seven levels that you can create mod, force modifiers in. So if I wanted the same ones to show up again, I could just click these boxes, the also boxes. So let's say we want it to show up seven times. We can go under edit. And we can just select them. Done. So now they showed up all of them. This is also the same in the scheduling and other different parts of the program to also button. Make sure that it also shows up in other ones. You can also copy modifiers from different items too. So if something like this uh, sausage linguine, uh, we can copy the modifiers from a different item also. So it makes it fast to enter in the items. So now that we've done that, we're going to save, done. And I'll show you what the rotisserie chicken now looks like. So go under entrees, roasted chicken, and there's our force modifiers that we just put in. So that's what the force modifiers look like since we did it multiple times there it is and done sends it to the kitchen